What's going on guys? Thanks for checking out another Eastern Current fishing video. Today I am running around town a little bit. Uh, I was supposed to fish this morning, canceled it due to weather. Um, had to get some stuff done on the boat because I'm heading up to Oriental soon to guide for uh, bull redfish and do a little cork fishing up there. Um, but we have, uh, I've got another YouTuber coming into town through my connection with uh, with Pure Fishing, which is Penn, Abu Garcia, Berkeley, Spiderwire, uh, Finwick, a lot of those companies. Um, so we're going to collaborate in the next two days uh, and try to bring you all some cool content. He's got a very large YouTube channel um, and very, very large uh, TikTok following. So uh, y'all will definitely have to check him out. I'm not going to drop his name just yet. going to wait for y'all to uh, wait for the video when he gets here. But long story short, I got a trip tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. They're coming into town and we're going to go to my buddy Dan Avant's dad's house and do a little pond fishing. He's got some pretty epic ponds with some very large uh, bass in them. So we're going to go do that and see what we can do. But I'm swinging over to my nephew's house that they used to rent. My other nephews are about to move in there, which are their younger brothers. Um, and my old canoe is over there. And so what's happened to Dan's dad's farm is um, on the pond, this one pond, kind of the main pond that the big fish are in. Uh, the lily pads have taken over, so it's kind of hard to target those fish on the bank anymore. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna dump two canoes in there tomorrow and see what we can do. But fingers crossed the canoe is still over there. Um, we're gonna go see and hopefully no one yells at me for sneaking on this property and pulling this canoe off of it but uh, stay tuned this is just gonna be a little vlog style video of me running around I don't know what I'm gonna do so I'm about to go back home and uh, I was gonna record another video about uh, my flounder float rig I've had a lot of people ask what that is uh, if we're gonna do a video of like the setup and you know the hook and the weight and where I like to put the weight and the, or the, the float and then the leader setup so I'm gonna do a video of that but Stay tuned. I will see y'all over at the house where hopefully the canoe is. All right, you guys, I'm here and it is raining, but I went back there. Check it out. The canoe was there. So I got the canoe back after probably 10 years. Uh, gonna hopefully use it to do more than just this little uh, fishing trip here. Maybe some, some uh, swamp duck hunting, something like that. But uh, I'm gonna get it strapped down in the rain. I'm gonna keep the camera in here and then we'll be on our way. All right, well. Just got it strapped down. It's probably a good thing I left the camera in the car because I'm soaked. Started pouring as soon as I got on the roof, starting to strap it down. So good to go now. Gonna head on back to the house. Probably leave it up on the on the roof until tonight or until when it stops raining. Because I got I got like I said a trip in the morning, so I don't want to sit. I don't want this canoe sitting up on the roof the whole time on the water. I want it to get stolen. So I will see y'all back at the house here in a few minutes. All right, guys. Well, I made it back to the house. Soaking wet. It's pouring outside. Um, hasn't stopped raining. Uh, let me show you all this. Uh, I'm going to try to do a little garage organization today. As you saw in one of my last videos too. It's just this time of year it gets nasty. But I've laid all this stuff on my boat today. Um, pulled stuff out of my truck. i got tons of rods over here. I mean rod after rod after rod that I need to get hung back up. i got all kinds of rod racks I put in. But I just I pull rods out um, this time of year. Uh, throw them on the boat for a day if I'm fishing that rod. And then I'll pull it back. And it's just everything just ends up piling up in the corners in here. So... Got to get all my reels hung back up and throw away some broken reels. Um, just a lot of tackle organization I need to do. But let me show you all this canoe. This canoe here has been in the family for, God, I think since I was in elementary school. I remember my sister and her husband bought a house that had a pond in the backyard. And my dad bought that canoe for him. I don't know how I remember that. I mean, I was young. But it's made its way around. It's got the old Folden Brothers sticker on the side, which was me and my buddy in high school. Me and my two buddies in high school. It was our little little hunting gang our little hunting click before little hunting clicks were cool and uh, we used to shoot a lot of honkers and greenheads um, in this one swamp that we had access to at my buddy's house but those are the good old days but this canoe has seen it all I'm excited to have it back um, I'm sure my wife's gonna be ecstatic that I've got another boat at the house now um, but it's gonna be our our bass slaying machine tomorrow uh, I'm excited to do a little bass fishing I've been bass fished all summer um, and I've got two really good bass fishermen, a YouTuber and a guy that works for Penn Fishing and Abu Garcia Fishing coming up to, to do this, uh, this little bass deal tomorrow in this, in this private pond. And then we're going to go do some inshore fishing tomorrow afternoon, which is going to be awesome. Um, or not tomorrow afternoon, we're, we're doing the bass fishing tomorrow afternoon. And then the following day, we're going to do a full day of flounder, trout, redfish. Uh, I think we got like a midday, mid morning low. So we're going to trout fish in the morning. Uh, redfish at low tide try to sight fish and then we'll flounder fish the rest of the day and just see if we can't put together some cool content for y'all um 
I am going to go inside now. I want to show you all a few things I got in the mail, uh, but I'll see you all in there. All right, well, I went in and changed into a dry shirt. I was soaking wet, but I want to talk to you about something on this video, and that is my, my duck season this year. So um, for those of y'all that didn't know, I used to spend every winter in Louisiana guiding uh, for those bull redfish. 99% of that was on the fly rod. Uh, most of the guys that come down there really want to catch that 30 pound redfish on fly rod and I did a good bit of spin fishing down there as well um, But being married and being gone for four or five months out of the winter. It just doesn't it's not what I want to do It's not healthy for my wife and I's relationship And so I wanted to do you know something here and the fishing really kind of drags to an end the calls stop um, You know, maybe mid to late November one it depends on how good the trout bite is But my goal long term is to be booked every day of duck season taking people out to shoot sea ducks We've got a really cool coast here, and so um, you've got Bald Head and, and the shoals that run out off Bald Head and Oak Island. So Oak Island, if you've got a north wind in the winter, you can hunt with offshore winds off of Oak Island in the ocean for, for scoters. If you've got it, you know a south wind or a west wind, you can hunt off Wrightsville Beach, off Topsville Beach, off any of that other side of the coast, and you're protected. So you just have a, no matter what the wind direction is in the winter, you've really got a lot of options um, and areas to go, go find birds. And so it is very, very, um, you know, there, there, a lot of action. The, if you haven't hunted sea ducks before, it's a lot of action. There's no one else doing it here. Uh, and so so please give me a call if you're interested in booking a trip and we'll get out there and, and you'll be very surprised with the amount of action. I mean, there was never a single hunt we had last year that we shouldn't have at least had a limit of birds. Um, big groups of birds too, 50 to 100 birds a lot of times will, will decoy right in your face. Um, just very, very unpressured sea ducks. It's a really cool way to hunt them. Um, and I would love to have y'all out there. If y'all watch this video, I'm going to come up with a code right now, Eastern Waterfowl YouTube. If you mention the code Eastern Waterfowl YouTube, then I will give you a discount off of your booking. So please book a trip, and uh, I hope to get you out on the water this year. And if you if, if you don't come out on the water with me personally, you'll be out on the water with me through the videos. I'm going to do a lot of, of sea duck hunting videos. I'm going to try to film every hunt and do a video. So be on the lookout for that. I'm going to start to do some more waterfowl videos with the season approaching. I've got a lot of tasks and chores I've got to do. Um, so I hope y'all are excited about that. I'm going to try to get a little half day fishing video in this week. Uh, I'm definitely going to get the, the bass fishing video in tomorrow. Um, and then the, the near shore, uh, or the inshore trip with, with the guys from pure fishing. Uh, but I'm going to try to do a little solo trip as well. Um, after a charter and, and get a little video for y'all. going to do a little inshore flounder limit video. See if I can go, uh, how long it takes me to catch a, uh, a limit of flounder inshore, um, on artificial. So. I've done it. I've done it in a short amount of time, and sometimes it takes a long amount of time. So we'll see. Probably if I cut the camera on, it's going to take all day for me to get four keeper flounders. But we will see. Uh, but I'm going to head back inside. Stay tuned. Don't need that mask inside. But it was an exciting mail day today. Came home. I already opened this package here uh, a little bit just to make sure it was my stuff, not my wife's. You never know. A lot of the stuff comes in with both of our names on it or with my name on it it's for her with her name on it, it's for me but i did a little order the other day and got me some new trail cameras the stealth cam px20 i'm assuming uh, actually i know that means 20 megapixels but yeah 20 megapixel camera um i've heard really good things about these cameras really good reviews i have not used this version before uh, but i got two new cameras to hang up i've got a, a third camera in the garage that i've already used but where I can really scout out these new pieces of property that I've got permission to deer hunt. Um, and a new harness. My old harness is just real clanky. It was a good deal on this one. But the mu muddy Magnum Pro. Just very, very bare bones. It's really all you need. I don't want anything too serious. Um, but yeah, excited to do some Bert videos. Bert's that big deer on that piece of property that hopefully I'm gonna kill this year. He's, he's caused me to spend a good bit of money already. Um, these are the climbing sticks I got. I got some lock-on stands for that property, as I showed y'all in the last video. The climbing sticks have come in. Um, I'll let y'all know what I think about these. The, the actual ladder steps don't stick out very far, so it's not the best. It was a good price. I'll be comfortable climbing it, but you know, if you're a little more heavy set or older, it might be, you know, maybe it wouldn't be the best choice of, of, uh, sticks for climbing. But I got one set of sticks for now. I'm gonna move between my different lock-ons. I got three different lock-ons, uh, coming in. And I'm going to go out and hang those probably next week. I think the, the actual stands are coming in 
tomorrow. Um, and like I said, I've got that video stuff the next two days, so I'll be I'll be locked up with that. But then after that, or maybe Sunday, I'll go out and do a video setting up the cameras, um, setting up the cameras and hanging those stands. Um, I just got back my other shotgun, so I'd gotten both of these Super Black Eagles. One was my dad's that I got um, from him when he passed, and then the other one was my Super Black Eagle. Um, I got them Cerakoted to match each other, um, but. I've gotten the choke very, very, let me flip the camera around here, very stuck in this one. And so my buddy at Cape Fear Cerakotes had it for a while. He can't get it out. I was on hold with Benelli for a long time today. I'm going to send it back and see if they can get it out of there. Because um, I'm stuck with a, let's see. I can't even tell anymore. It's so chewed up. I'm trying to get it out. Um, but I want to be able to interchange my chokes. And so I'm going to send that back to Benelli. Um, oh, one more package that came the other day was my Scott. Uh, I think this is a title 11 weight that I had broken last year on a shark. So that's exciting. That is exciting. And the Siegler reels. Need to get some line put on these bad boys. Um, I've had them for a little bit. I need to get some line put on them and get them out there and do some fishing with them. But that's it for the vlog video today. Not a very exciting day, but whenever I've got these days off from rain or weather, I try to update y'all on what's going on here um, on the channel. Um, like I said, as soon as I get the rest of my hunting stuff in, I'm going to do a video out on some of the property, um, setting some cameras, checking it out a little bit by myself, walking through the property, kind of showing y'all, getting y'all's opinion, uh, what you think, and, and hanging some cameras and stands. So hopefully we can go kill Bert this year. I will, uh, I'll keep y'all posted. But guys, thanks for checking out this vlog, this little update. Please smash the thumbs up button. It really, really helps uh, this video get shared through YouTube. So the more of y'all that press the thumbs up button, the better press the thumbs up button. If you like all my videos, go and press all the thumbs up buttons, um, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Later.